Hey guys, feels like we haven't checked in for a while. It's probably because we haven't checked in for a while. Um, you just got me this weekend. Bobby is in Nashville with Mia. They're visiting with some friends that they met at a camp, a father-daughter camp that they went to a few years ago. It's a super sweet time. They do it once a year. I'm so thankful that they can uh, create the time and space and get away for a few days to connect there. Um, the past couple of months have been pretty crazy for our family. Um, in the beginning of the year, in, in one of our updates, we mentioned how this was the year. This was the year that we were going to be licensed to foster and maybe eventually someday we'd get to adopt. And just this past Thursday, uh, the Jackson family received their license to be a foster family. Um, so we've been spending the, all of our extra time the past few months getting that done. There were some just some crazy things that kept coming up. Even our agency was like, we've never seen this before. We don't know why this keeps happening to you. We're really sorry. Um, so it kind of took all of our time and all of our efforts over the past few months to get that done, but it is done. And we are so looking forward to bringing more kids into our house um, through foster care. Excited to see what God has in store for us that way. While we've been spending a lot of time prepping for that, we've still been working um, in the ministry of Standing Stone. We've still been meeting with people that we meet with throughout the week, um, different church leaders and their spouses, and just helping them process through some things, helping them get prepared for next steps in their in their ministry and their life. It's been a it's been a continued sweet time to work with them. One of the really cool things that we've been able to do over the past couple of months is. Um, is lead a church staff retreat, kind of. Um, it was kind of like a, 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 a spiritual, emotional health checkup for this church staff. And it was super great. Bobby and I went to the church for about five weeks or five days. <laughs> we stayed there for five days. And each day we met with some of the staff and some of them were able to bring their spouses and we were just kind of talking through where they were at and um, let them lead the conversation and see... Um, if there were things that they just kind of wanted to process. And it was it was so great. Some of the couples um, and the staff we had already had a relationship with that way. And some we were meeting for the first time. And it was just so great to, in those moments, experience the Holy Spirit, kind of just stir that truth. Bobby and I, we really feel like and believe that most of the answers that we're looking for, the solutions to problems, the the next steps forward, they're already inside of us. Like this, we already know the truths that will give us those next answers. Um, and it was neat to watch the spirit move in those conversations and in those moments as, as the truth just kind of rise, would rise to the top. It was, it was super, super sweet. We, we came back even feeling fed and refreshed after that week. It was really great. Last week, Bobby was able to uh, do a little bit of training with um, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. Pete Cazero, his wife, Jerry, writes Emotionally Healthy Women. Um, they have just a, a line of books for emotionally healthy stuff. And that was kind of on, one, on our list of things that we wanted to do was to get some more training with that. So that was super cool. I'm looking forward to trying to find some training, too. Um, I've walked through that book with a group of ladies, and it, it just is super practical and super helpful, especially for church leaders, especially for spouses of church leaders. Um, we have always, I always return to those principles and those patterns and habits that they, they explore in their book. So super thankful for the time to do that, um, to get that training. What's next for us is more the same. We've got some more, um, just some more ministry, some continued ministry, but also because we've been taking time off with all of the foster care training and preparation, we have been taking basically all of our fundraising time out of our schedule. So before the craziness of the holidays, we're going to jump back into fundraising as much as we can, clear some really good solid time in our schedule and cram months of fundraising into the next few weeks. So we would totally appreciate your prayers for that. Um, that's going to be a lot of work, but we want to, we really feel like this is the time to do it before the holidays get crazy for us, for everyone else. And before we get kids in our care, uh, we know that foster kiddos are going to take up some more time and um, 
something we're looking forward to, but something we need to be wise about in the meantime. So we'd love your prayer for that. We'd also love for you guys to pray for the church leaders coming into the holiday season. It's going to be a weird time. Everybody's already tired. Everybody's already fatigued from this new kind of ministry during COVID. And the holidays are going to feel really different. Uh, ministry is going to look different. Even just services are going to look different. So we would really just love if you could pray for those church leaders as they figure out how to walk through this next season um, in this new COVID uh, reality that seems like it's going to be here through the end of the year. So um, just that they would have the wisdom and the the perseverance, the the strength that they need to kind of weather all of that and walk through that and lead their people through that, that they would be able to meet the needs of the people in their church and the people in the community and that they would stay connected and feel connected to their families. That'd be super, super great if you guys could partner with us in prayer that way. We're thankful for the partnership that you guys give us through your prayer. We really feel like it's a, the foundation of our ministry. It's We feel it when we have conversations that are hard, when we, have, when we walk into situations and conversations and we don't even know what we're walking into yet. Um, we feel that the work that the Spirit's doing because of your prayers. So we're super thankful for that. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll check in next month.